welcome my uh, subscribers and the Hubson Xeno enthusiasts and today I want to have a look at the latest uh, UB25 firmware that's the camera firmware as um, Hubson call it to uh, fix the bug that was introduced in version 0.3.5 of the uh, UB25 firmware in that firmware Hubson changed the loss of signal failsafe uh, that would be when you go out of range of the uh, when the quad goes out of range and they change that from triggering on the loss of the control channel to the loss of the Wi-Fi carrier and this resulted in um, the quad not returning uh, when the control channel dropped um, and if you have a look at a previous video you'll see a quick way to resolve that there's a couple of different methods but that's now um, no longer required because Hubson have now released version 0.3.6 which fixes that problem So previously, uh, anyone that follows me on Facebook will have seen the, uh, the disconnection descriptions that I've given to people. Um, and um, in the previous release, what Hobson were looking was for the trigger on the Wi-Fi, shown here flashing red. Uh, uh, previously, they did the um, control channel trigger, which is the green flashing, and they've now reverted to that in version 0.3.6. So in the old version, you had to either power off the controller or um, dis able to signal in some other method there's a couple of simple methods of doing that so um, I've loaded the new firmware on here and I've uh, tried it extensively so with version 0.3.6 um, in this sample we'll just take it out to the limit of the range of the quad and um, hopefully this time when we get the loss of control channel the quad will return to home immediately So we just take it out here, fly out. We're at about um, 1,200 meters now, so we should be uh, approaching um, the the point where the control channel error rate starts to increase, and we'll then get a rapid uh, drop on the uh, bars on the control channel showing. The video will stay up at all times, uh, but it will become very laggy. Okay, so we should start to see the first indications. Now you can see the lagginess in the video um, showing that the error rate is increasing. And here we go. The control channel is now approaching the point where it's going to disconnect. And there we go. It goes down and immediately the aircraft disconnects. And you can see from the, la from the recorded video that it immediately turned and uh, initiated the return to home. And this is exactly what you would expect. And when we regain signal, it should come back and it should show that it's actually in return to home. And I'll just extend the video slightly so you can see that there we go, automatic return. And of course then, as soon as it regains proper control, it drops back into the normal flight mode, shown by uh, this status of GPS hold mode. So at this stage, you would need to um, either initiate a manual return to home, or as I'm doing here, <laughs> I'm going to go out and try and push it a bit further. Um, this flight was actually to see if I could... Um, get out to one mile and I was just short of that but anyway that has obviously um, fixed the issue and uh, the quad now reliably returns on the loss of um, control channel as opposed to the loss of Wi-Fi so hopefully that's useful it's a very short video I hadn't really got much to say but people don't seem to have mentioned that this new firmware um, is responsible for this there's lots of people talking about version 1.1.51 of flight controller and all that sort of stuff which is really uh, relevant that doesn't fix this um this failsafe so if you want to um change your failsafe options back to what they were in version 0.3.4 instead of going down you can now go up to 3.6 and you'll be back to normal reliable flight so that's it if you uh, like this um please do watch further. Um, I, if you have any questions or if you'd like anything explained about the Xeno, which you may, might maybe not have found elsewhere online, or you're confused by some of the 
other um, information. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation out there about the Xeno, uh, particularly how it connects, how it flies, what fail safes are available, and even people discussing limits of range. It somehow has been done in geofencing and firmware, which is complete nonsense, of course. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll be back with a video very shortly on the Xeno connections and how they all work and how you can set up your quad uh, to fly with just phone, with the phone and the controller or just the controller on its own. That's it for now, folks. Bye and all the best.